Tell me a secret about yourself that nobody knows. That nobody knows that about nobody me. Knows. Um, I'm a nudist at heart, yeah. so I mow the lawn in a bikini and I run around naked as, as often as possible. Wow, with Amanda's, I'm really impressed. I love her eye contact. I really believe that she's in this moment. She's selling that suit really well. Love the pose, love the intensity. I love everything about it. I'm impressed. What's your game plan for this shoot? My game plan is to just do something different because usually I'm like commercial, hee <laughs> hee, it's pretty. I really want to try to be like engaging and I really want to um, make the audience feel like they're in, you know, I'm looking at them. Amber looks amazing in this picture. This is really strong. I mean, you can really see the connection between her and the male model. I love the look that she's giving the camera. I think the only thing I would suggest is just having maybe one of her legs down a little bit, you know, maybe so we can kind of keep that length and uh, leanness there for the high fashion shoot, but overall a beautiful job. Who do you think is going to stay? Me. Definitely. <laughs> Anissa, with this particular shoot, I really like the intensity. She was looking directly through the camera, it has those intense eyes, and was both relaxed and posing at the same time. She feel, it, the photo, she feels very much comfortable with Travis, but at the same time posing in a, in a dramatic sort of way. And uh, I really like that. What makes this shoot different from any other experiences you've had? It's competitive. Uh, mm -hmm. Before, we were all on the same team, we were, wanted to get the best advertising for the product, but now it's kind of like, I need to have the best advertising myself mm -hmm. for the product. Mm -hmm. Ariana, not too bad. I like the pose with your torso. Your legs look a little stubby though. I think that if you spread them out, let them go a little longer, the pose would have come off a bit more high fashion. Nice expression, wonderful arms, good connection with the male model. Just ex extend those legs a little more and you would have high, had high fashion. What is your game plan for making it to the end? Um. Just trying to learn more and grow and grow as a model and um, just bring out more of my personality so others can see that. I love how Ariel really went for it in this shot. She really tried to do a different kind of pose. It, I, I think it does work. I just wish I could see more of her face in this shot. I feel like it gets a little bit lost and you know, it's a good picture. She just makes me want to see more of her. Who do you think is going home today? You know, I was. some of the girls and I were talking about that. Um, it's hard to say. I mm -hmm. don't know if I could give a specific name. A On lot of this competition alone, me. who do you think was the weakest? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know, maybe Chris? Why? Yeah, she's really kind of quiet. Um, she, I mean, she did a great job, but her poses were really simple. They were kind of the same. It, was, it wasn't above and beyond. Right. I mean, she did a great job. Brittany was a little bit, a uh, little bit, again, boudoir, swimsuity, a uh, kind of model. Um, and the, the challenge was to be passionate and to be very edgy. And she, she pulled it off at the end. She had some great images. And this particular image I like because she is making eye contact with the camera. She's really showing some affection and some sexiness, but also definitely an edgy feel to it, which I really liked. Okay, that. Chantel, I've got a question for you. What's that? Tell me a little secret about yourself that nobody knows. Nobody, oh gosh. Um, Something quirky, odd, but purely Chantel. Purely me. Well, I was the youngest person in Oregon scuba diving, like certified scuba diving back when I was nine or so, but I don't know if that counts as something quirky. That definitely counts. Um, okay. I had a guinea pig. <laughs> That's weird, like up until six months ago when he died. I really like the intensity of, of Chantel. Uh, her looking away wasn't exactly the pose that I would choose, but then again, the way that she does it, there's a lot of emotion and connection 
between the two models. I really think it sells the suit well. Based on this shoot alone, who do you think is the weakest model? Um, the weakest model, let's see, I met so many, and so it's hard to remember all of their names, but I mean, um, I mean, I can't really pinpoint one, but I know everyone has like their own like weak links to themselves. Mm -hmm. Christina did really well with this shot. I like the pose, it's, it's definitely different. I know it's really hard to do posing like on a couch like this, and then you have the male model in there. So she did a really great job. Um, again, I think I'm feel losing a little bit of the emotion in her face, just a tiny bit. Who do you think is the weakest model in the bunch? Just from this shoot alone. The weakest model? Um, Who do you I, think is going home? I don't, well, I hope it's not me, first of all. I think everybody brought their A game today. There's a lot of girls who surprised me with their shoots and a lot of girls who I thought maybe would have been stronger that weren't. Chris, wow, really well done. Your connection with a male model, sizzling. The pose is a little lifestyle, but your connection with a male model totally saves it. Tell me a little secret about you that nobody secret. knows. Just me, just me, tell me. Oh gosh, a little secret. No Some quirky knows. thing, whatever, something. Tell me something about you that nobody knows. I am hopelessly ad addicted to Tetris. Yeah, and sometimes I play two hours a day, like if I'm really tired, like to like two or three in the morning. Elizabeth gave a lot of really great poses. It was hard to decide which photo to choose. She uh, it, she has particular angles. Some of the photos, uh, her face looked a little better. Some her body looked a little bit better. This one I think came together where both looked fantastic. I like the pose. I like the intensity and. Uh, I just like the general feeling of connection with her and uh, the male model. Who is your top competitor? Kaylee. Kaylee and why? Because she has the height, she has the bone structure she has, she has a lot of experience, and I think she's everyone's biggest competition actually. Just like this, yeah. Um, so tell me a little quirky thing about you uh, that nobody knows. Just me. Just me, because I'm so cool. Ah, Just me. Um, I actually loathe sweets. Mm. I don't like donuts. I've hated donuts. The smell of it makes me want to vomit. I don't like chocolate. I don't like ice cream. I don't like cake. I don't like sweets at all. Dang. That is really, really intense. That is so completely fierce. I love it. I love her pose, her intensity. Uh, way to sell a suit. Love it. Tell me a secret about you. Um, Tell me a secret. A secret. I, <laughs> aside from saying I was a cop. <laughs> you were a cop? Yeah, I worked in law enforcement for quite a few years. Um, I have a ranch. I have 217 acres with uh, horses and cattle. Jessica, this final shot with Jessica is so intense. Um, she's, she really got right in there and, uh, and definitely got some sexiness with the male model. Um, she, again, not quite as editorial or fashion as we were quite looking for in a lot of the poses, but um, she definitely brought the intensity and the sexiness that we were looking for in the photo. Who do you think is going to go home, just based on the shit alone? I have no clue. I pretty much focused on myself today and didn't really pay attention, so I didn't psych myself out. I'm a little bit disappointed with this shot. I think Karen, you know, her intensity is there, but at the same time, there's like no connection there. I don't feel like she's really connecting with the model. And her pose is pretty blah, so it's not selling the suit the way that I would like to see from her. Tell me something quirky about yourself that nobody knows. Something quirky about myself that nobody knows. Um, I would, well, no one knows. Um, so like a secret of mine? Yeah, yeah, um, 
can't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> just Seriously, between just me and you. Yeah, totally. Off the record. I like to go to Carl's Jr. Yeah. And get the Big Star hamburger and eat it in my car all by myself just so I can enjoy the hamburger. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I do that whenever I'm like having a bad day or something. Just go drive, look at a view, and eat a nice big, big star hamburger. Right on. <laughs> Kayleen looks really beautiful here. I love this. I feel like the only thing is that both models are looking at the camera, which I know is not her fault. It's definitely, you know, just kind of the interaction there. Um, but I just wish I could see more of her other shoulder, you know, just having a little bit more structure frame with that pose and maybe bringing her hand up um, onto the male model's knee maybe. Just, you know, there's just so much of her that, you know, we would just want to see in you know, all of that beautiful pose. So, great job. Final set, please. Before I cut somebody. <laughs> Lacey uh, really brought some creativity to this particular shot. She, uh, she got right in there and was doing a, lot, a large variety of poses, quite a few different mixes as she, uh, as she worked the shoot. And I like that because it gives you a lot to choose from. This particular shot, she's got, that, uh, she's got her calf flexed with that heel up on the side of the couch, draping herself over Travis and making that strong eye contact with the camera. Really fantastic. Something quirky about myself is at least once a day, I wish that I could teleport because I think that would be the coolest superpower ever. <laughs> such a nerd. A little bit. When I saw Lauren face to face, I was really worried that she wasn't going to be able to sell that suit very well. Quite honestly, I love this. I love the connection of it. She is raw and intense. I think it's a really good illustration of how to sell a suit. Who was the weakest model? The weakest model? I Just on the shoot alone. On the shoot alone? Um, I'm not sure what her name is. There's a couple of them that when they get up there, they're kind of nervous, so you can kind of tell that it's a little bit more awkward for them. I don't remember their names, but it's just about the attitude, you know? I think it's about the attitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give me a longer neck. Nice. Bend that left arm. Yeah, better. Okay, you ready? Tell me something weird about yourself. Weird? Yeah. Um, I really like pasta more than anything else, ever. Paris, you know, you're a pretty girl. You got a lot of talent. I'm just not feeling this photo very much. The pose isn't exactly lifestyle, but it isn't exactly high fashion. Your connection with the male model isn't too bad, but when I'm looking at it as a viewer, I almost think awkward moment between a couple. It's not exactly sexy, it's more awkward. That's the only word I can think of. Uh, what is your strategy for winning this competition? Um, to get better and to go home and try to think about what I've done and try to improve. Sarah did a really great pose here. Again, she really went for it. I like these models that are really trying to do something out of the box. Um, I just feel like, again, it, it can be hard to uh, lose, your, lose your shape, lose your body when you're on, you know, kind of a couch structure here. Um, so I just wish maybe a little bit more shoulder in there, but otherwise, I love it. It's great.